This is my iPhone 5. It's an AT&T model, but I've unlocked it to T-Mobile. So here's a, the RSIM 9 card that I used to unlock it. Um, I'm currently running iOS 8.1.2. You can see it's carried locked to AT&T. Right now there's no network. So I use this our SIM card like this and all I did was just put this on top um, what's working with this card is let me go ahead and insert this and reset the phone uh, Text messaging is working, i.e. iMessage. Um, phone calls work fine, although uh, you have to type in your own voicemail number. I think you have to change the USSD ID or something. So complicated for me. Um, but uh, you don't get LTE. The caveat, I guess, is you can either jailbreak my, your phone and install the 3G patch which I didn't uh, in my case uh, just by installing what they call the iRose tool I don't, I don't even think it's iRose tool it's some kind of 3, three to 2G app or whatever uh, I'm able to get edge speeds so again you'll see over here it says T-Mobile and if I disable Wi-Fi, you see all I get is edge speeds. Uh, you can't use the, the card out of the box even with AT&T, this AT&T phone. You have to install an app and then to get the APN settings working, you have to also install unlock the Unlock It APN setting. So the app you'll install is this thing called GPP 3 to 2. You'll force 2G. Let me show you. If I click on there. It's all in Chinese. You'll in my case I just chose this first option. Insert the card and restart it. Eventually it showed up to T-Mobile, but my 3G my internet data didn't work which case I had to go to unlockit.co.nz through my Safari web browser and I installed the T-Mobile APN afterwards I could surf the web with this so to get the GPP 3 to 2 app you have to go to turn on Wi-Fi you need to go to this URL unlockpro.ru slash nano4g.html you can go to other area, other websites that have similar programs there's one on Neater Teams website also one on rsim5 uh, so I think they all pretty much work the same some say the Neater Team one works really well So once I got to this iRose tool, you can see it says iRose tool. I chose the second one, iOS 8 v2. And then it says, do you want to install this GP3 to 2 app? And I installed the application. Afterwards, it installed this here. Uh, so one thing that will happen when you insert it, nothing may happen. It might say no SIM. Don't forget to restart the phone once. And it'll take you to the table mode select screen. Let me show you another place where you can set it up. This is similar to all our SIM cards. Go into settings and phone. Let me check over here. So I was going about to click here, but I didn't want to show my phone number. 
So once you get into phone, scroll to the very bottom and there's SIM applications over here. And then you can select care. This is what you would see if you first put in your RSIM card and reset it. It would show you, it would ask you which carrier it's locked to. I choose use at and I think before that, it asks you, let me go back. If I chose, before that it'll ask you which which phone you're using. I chose i5 because mine's iPhone 5. But anyways, uh, once you set that up, you may have to reset your phone again. And it'll pick it up after a minute or two. So again, I was able to get it working. Uh, this this tutorial this isn't even a tutorial, but you can probably buy it, unlock if if you, or do it for free on some website if you uh, if you want rather than use these R SIM cards. This is true for like AT and T iPhones. I think you can buy one and unlock for five dollars now. Now that it's legal to unlock in the USA. So that's all.